Starting the video. All right, so this area here and this area here are seminiferous tubules, which lead to reedy testes, but I can't tag them because they're microscopic. Okay. But then they drain into this middle area. You can kind of see it's spongy right here in the middle, yeah. right here. And the middle area is the uh, vas, vas, vas efferens. Very good. And the vas efferens, I think in a human, there are like 16 of them per testicle. They carry the spermatozoa. Well, they actually pump the spermatozoa up into the head of the epididymis. And all of those tubes come together and form one tube called the duct of the epididymis. And that tube winds back and forth and back and forth in the head and the body and the tail of the epididymis. And the spermatozoa spend about three weeks, 20 days in there. And that, during that time, they develop a flagellum. Now, it could be there longer if the person doesn't ejaculate, but they can't be there that much longer. I think they only last about three or four months, and then the, the cells lining the tubule actually phagocytize them. Anyway, let's say that they do develop a flagellum, and then ejaculation occurs. They get pumped out of the epididymis into the vas. No, deferens. Vas deferens is in this tube. Here's the tail, comes into this tube, and that tube goes up through the spermatic cord, <coughs> which is this whole thing. And this um, vas deferens goes through the inguinal canal and into the body cavity, and then it kind of goes uh, over the ureter and down on the posterior side of the urinary bladder. And there it's met by the seminal duct. So you have seminal ducts here and vas deferens here, and they come together and form the ejaculatory duct. And the ejaculatory duct pokes a hole through the prostate gland, sort of like a, a straw going through an orange, and it drops off the seminal fluids and the spermatozoa into the urethra. And then the prostate glands, there are actually a bunch of them, like 30 or 40. They have a lot of ducts. And they put the prostate fluids into the urethra. So the urethra contains the spermatozoa, the seminal fluids, and the prostate fluids. And those three things together are called semen. And then they get pumped through the urethra um, and out of the glands and into the vagina. Um, the uh, bubble urethral glands, before mm -hmm. that all happened, yeah. released um, mucus secretions into the urethra, which neutralizes any acid, because mm -hmm. urine's usually acidic, and it lubricates so that the uh, semen can be pumped more easily. So all in the male tubules, these things never swim. They always get pumped from one place to the next. Then in the vagina, they have to swim. So they swim through the cervix into the body of the uterus, and they go out through the uterine tubes, and fertilization occurs in the distal third of the uterine tube. Okay. okay. That's, that's the whole spray sperm adventure.